Hi, I'm Jake Brulard, lead makeup stylist with NARS Cosmetics, and you're watching TV Cut Us. Today we're going to be showing you fashion trends that you can recreate right in your own bedroom. Today we're going to start with a new velvet matte skin tint. Velvet matte skin tint has been all over the runways. It, on our model here, we have one side of the face done with the skin tint, which provides a matte, medium coverage that's buildable. And on this side, it's just bare skin. What I love about this formula is that it blurs out imperfections immediately, tones down redness, and it's an all-in-one product. You can skip the primer, you can even skip powder, and be out the door. So once your skin's looking perfect and matte for this season, you can choose where to put your contours and highlights and your little pops of color. I love using a touch of concealer on the skin just to cover stubborn redness or little imperfections. It's also great for dark circle. Using your fingertips, we're gonna apply the velvet matte skin tint all over the face. Start in the center where you have more texture and blend outwards. Using your fingers allows the product to sort of melt into the face, creating a second skin effect. NARS Orgasm Blush is the number one selling blush in the world. We sell one unit every minute. It's a universally beautiful color for every skin tone. It has a little bit of gold, a perfect blend of pink and peach. And the way I love to do it is by using the Yachio brush. This brush is iconic. It's perfect for blending the pigment right onto the apples and up to the hairline, diffusing it for a watercolor effect. On quick days, close your eyes and give it a swift dusting on the lid. Traditionally blush, we often think of doing under the cheekbone, but that's truly a contour. That's gonna give you depth. By this blush color, it's gonna give you lift and warmth to the skin, which is while I'm using it on the apples, blending upwards. And taking it towards the lid of the eye provides the perfect amount of color, so it gives you an option whether you wanna use uh, eyeshadow that day or not. So just a coated mascara, a little bit of gloss, and she's out the door. The future of blush has arrived. One side provides a highlight where the other side is a beautiful, vibrant pop. Now don't be afraid of this beautiful pink shade. This pink shade is so stunning against tan skin. I love to take the Ita brush and gently carve out the apple by stroking back and forth and then flipping your brush horizontally. And do the same exact technique as a highlight. And then take your popping color gently underneath and with quick strokes blend into the highlight. If you don't own the Ita brush, I recommend going out and buying it. However, <laughs> Using the Yachio brush is going to give you a soft airbrush effect to, this, to the color. So using this, I'm going to show you a softer way to apply this beautiful bright tone. Still sculpting the cheek and rocking it underneath the cheekbone, blending upward, going into the highlighter. Try Audrey or Vera lipsticks for this season's beautiful bold lip trend. You can use this full on, paired with a lip liner, or you can take these colors and simply dab on the lip for more of a sheer application. I love this trend because it's so versatile for day or for night. You can also use the lipstick on the apples of the cheeks using your fingertips to melt and blend in. To really embrace the trend this season, go full on with the lipstick for that bold, beautiful color. So we're gonna be using Vera, an audacious lipstick by NARS. Using Belmar Lip Liner, I perfect the edges of the mouth, creating the perfect sexy lip. Using my fingertips, I'm taking a little bit of an icy mint 
just to open up the eyes. Hi ladies, thank you for watching TV Caras. I hope you enjoyed my TV segment and learned some things along the way. I hope to inspire you at home while you're doing your makeup in your bedroom. Bye.